Hi, this is Alex Profile with Zeta Sky. This video is for people that are new to Mac, and this will cover the trackpad and gestures. So the trackpad is how you move the mouse around, also called the touchpad. To get to the settings, again, you go to the Apple menu, System Preferences, and then you'll see trackpad in the bottom section here. Here's the, the standard point and click settings. So if you want to left click, you just tap with one finger and it's useful because it will show you an animation over here. Uh, with some of the more complicated gestures, it's helpful. Obviously tapping with one finger is not that complicated, uh, but that will left click. Even if it's turned off, there's a couple different ways to, to left click. Um, secondary click is the same thing, but with two fingers. And um, there's different options here. These are not all the defaults, but if you're ever curious about what one of these are, you can come here and view the gesture here. I believe by default, this is force click with one finger. You can change how hard it is to click on the trackpad, how much resistance there is, how, much, how hard you have to press before it registers the click, and the, the tracking speed is how fast the cursor moves around. I found that the default was too slow for me, so I had to move it up, but adjust this to whatever fits your preferences. You can turn off force click here. If you find that you are force clicking too often, force click is when you, you press with one finger um, with, with a little bit of force uh, and you kind of hold it there. Um, it's like a, a long left click and there, or, or a, a hard left click. There's like two different levels to left clicking and the second level is force click. Um, when I first started using it, I found it a, a little bit difficult because I'm not exactly, exactly gentle. And so I tend to tap pretty hard. Uh, so it took me a little bit of getting used to not force clicking. Um, but if you don't want to get used to it, you should be able to just turn it off and you won't have to worry about it. This scrolling and zooming, this is pretty similar to what you may be useful on, on Windows. Um, so you can see scrolling, you just two fingers up and down. Uh, zooming is similar to mobile phones, so it's the same gesture. Uh, it's just on the trackpad, so you're, you're probably already familiar with how to do that. Um, but just so you're aware, that does work on the Mac. Um, depending on the app, there's nothing to zoom in here. Um, but if, you, if you're on like a web page or a file or something, you, you can zoom. Uh, smart zoom is double tapping and rotating. You can go through this and you can see all the examples and how to do it yourself. The most important part that I wanted to point out though is this more gesture section. Now there's there's quite a bit here. I'm not going to go through them all. If, if you want to know what all these different ones do um, and how to do them, you can just look here and, and look at the animation. It'll show you what it does. But the ones in particular that I want to point out that have been very useful for me are Mission Control, which is on by default, and App Expose, which I believe is off by default. They're very, very similar. Mission Control, if you swipe up with three fingers, it will show you all of the apps you have open like this. They'll, they'll all just get smaller so you can see them all and it makes it easy to, to switch between apps. Uh, I find it faster and easier than uh, command tabbing or any of the other methods. Um, so I, I use this a lot to switch between apps, especially if you're only on one screen. It's really useful. Um, so I, I highly recommend familiarizing yourself with how mission control works because that has saved me a, a lot of time when I need to switch apps. And again, especially especially when you're on a single screen, that's extremely helpful. App Expose, I believe, is off by default, um, and you can change what it's set to by clicking here. Uh, but essentially, this is the same thing as Mission Control, except it will show you all the windows that are open for that program. So let's say you have Google Chrome open, and you, you have... Uh, you have Google Chrome selected. It's the, the app that you're currently working on. If you do Expose, 
it'll show you all your Chrome windows, but it won't show the other app. So it's basically like Mission Control, but only for a single app. And I find that useful if, if I have, uh, I mentioned the browser because, uh, you know, Google Chrome, because I, I, I actually use Microsoft Edge, but um, frequently I'll have several windows, uh, not just tabs, but windows open in my browser. And using X, App Expose makes it easier to find the, uh, the other windows uh, for my browser that I have open without seeing all the apps and having to sort through them. So it just makes it a little bit faster. You may not necessarily need this one, especially if you don't um, open up a lot of windows of the same app. But personally, I have found it really useful. Uh, now, these others are pretty useful too, but I don't I don't personally use them all that often. Um, the gestures are not the only way to get to these things. But if if you're curious, feel free to go through this and, and find what works for, for your workflow. And you may need to just start using the Mac and see, you know, how it feels to use it. And then after using it for a little bit, I would recommend coming back here. And you might realize, like, hey, the, you know, some of these things may be useful uh, that I'm that I'm not using right now. As you familiarize yourself with the operating system, if you uh, have any issues or questions, feel free to let us know.